Hey, Astro Nerds, it's me. So I heard that your life is upside down since like November 5th, 2025. After that, another, another major update for the uh, firmware. And that affects Dwarf 2, Dwarf 3, mini everybody. But you know what? Dwarf Lab is doing an amazing job. Don't panic. Let's just go through it. Picture-in-picture picture viewer. Uh, for astrophotography, on the top corner, that uh, icon there is for telephoto view or the wide-angle view. And here is the, da, 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 the problem that everybody's having, including me, because I couldn't find it for like 30 minutes. These three dots right there. That's where you're going to do the camera. That's it. Um, you have to go to those three dots. And on those three dots, you're also going to have curves once your imaging session is going on. And the darks, which is another big one. Uh, you click that and then it takes you uh, to the uh, dark frames catalog or presets, okay? Uh, this one, it's for the uh, photo album. It's like when you are doing your imaging session and you don't want to see the controls, then you just touch that and then you're just going to be watching your imaging session. And if you want to go back to the imaging session, you need to get your beautiful finger and long press on the screen. And there you go. Here we have another crucial, important, let me zoom in here a little bit. And that is the joystick. This has been a lot of confusion. And here it's all about your beautiful finger again, okay? There's no more joystick speed control. I like that dial that we have on the side. I don't know why it was changed, but it's all about the finger now. So you just have to kind of like... Uh, touch a little bit up and you just drag and you're going to start seeing the speed here uh, but that's how you're going to control the uh, speed now for the joystick which is a very sensitive and I highly recommend that uh, you use a stylus pen I use it all the time when I am outside, uh, especially when I have my headlamp and I, I really don't know where my finger is and now we're going back uh, to the Atlas. That icon is kind of like familiar for us. We have seen that before. For the photo uh, resolution, for the uh, telephoto or the wide angle. The main screen of the modes, the different modes. Uh, now we are back to a free general mode. And what is free general mode? I guess it's the main screen for the uh, astrophotography. Okay, uh, let me just go back and touch the free again. Uh, so we have that. And then we have the deep sky mode, the solar system out of capture. Then we go into deep sky. And now we have uh, to select our target. And you can go back straight to the atlas. And it's very possible that you have to download again the database. I have to do it and I have to do this a million times. Every time we get an upgrade, it's kind of like I have to do it. I feel that I've been doing it forever. And we have the solar system. And here is the bomb. This is the one that is causing all of the problems. Well, for me, uh, it, it is the auto parameter because the auto parameter is just going to have your exposure time to 15 seconds, which is what it says here that they recommend for EQ mode. I don't use it. I don't like it. I like to do 30 seconds to a minute. That's why I have EQ mode. If not, I'll just use uh, the Dwarf 2 for 15 seconds. So if you are suddenly are trying to find the parameters and you find them and you cannot change them, 
like right now, you see, I'm trying to change them. I say I have my target. And I said, oh, my God, I want to change the shutter speed again. I can't do it because it doesn't allow you. It's because you have to turn off the auto parameter. That auto parameter is gone, and then you can go and change the parameters, okay, such as the gain, uh, the shutter speed, uh, and the count. Okay, so it's very important. Get familiar with all of this before you go out there in the middle of the night. Be sure to do this download and everything, the database, all of that. Check the dark frames. I get this problem a lot. Thank God that I am quick. I've been doing this for a while with the other telescopes. Be sure to practice and um, then you will have a better experience. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a few days.